No more suits, no more ties. I'm in my hoodie, hitting gems. They only listen to you when you clean up. Robes on like the biblical days. I'm in my hoodie, knowledge is king. I guess I'm speaking in codes. Feel for the homeless. They without food, they got the most fruit. I'm speaking loud, but I'm on mute. Cause you ain't got on your blue suit. You're not in corporate office, so you a failure. I came back to the psych academy, cause it's hell here. Wonder when Jesus went to hell, was he walking on earth? Face the evils of the peoples. Jesus never wore suits, but he spoke the truth. Mike seen them kids in the street without enough to eat. Salaries not helping the people in need, so they need me. Food for thought. I'm planting seeds in concrete, hoping people read, hoping they see what's written in the trees. No more suits, no more ties. I'm just speaking the truth until I die. And my hoodie, like mellow, but I'm mellow. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, man. Any qu Any more questions, ma'am? Any thoughts, concerns? Yes, ma'am. What's your name? I'm Samaj. I'm sorry. Samaj. Samaj. What's up, Samaj? Hey. Um, how long did it take for you to write your book? Um, like I said, writing is a process, man. And to be honest with you, like when I when I first, um, I, I wasn't gonna write a book at first. One of my uh, homeboys, he was like, oh, you need to write a book. You got a story to tell, man. Somebody need to hear that. I'm like, man, nah, that's whack, man. I ain't about to write no book. I ain't got the time for that. But um, the more I pondered on it, you know, I started to understand my purpose. And I'm like, man, somebody, it's a kid out here that need to hear this message. So when I had that realization, um, I started to write. And he was just like, man, just write 30 minutes a day. I'm like, all right, I got you, I, I do it. 30 minutes a day, I got you. Um, so, um, I started January of 2016, and I was writing in my notebook. To be honest with you, my ex-girlfriend, she left it at the crib, and um, she, I just picked it up, and I was like, man, I'm about to just jot down what's on my mind and stuff like that, the things I'm experiencing, the things I've been through. And so, every day, I just write, 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 write. So, um, but then I was still like in college, getting ready to graduate, doing all that other extra stuff. So I really didn't have time, you know. So I really finished everything up um, last summer, 2017, after I got fired, because I had all the time in the world. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I gotta get the alarm clock out. Because I didn't know when I wanted to release it, none of that. But I just, I told myself, I gotta get this out, no excuse. So January, I mean, um, June of 2017, and I'm glad that I, I took the time and waited that long because I experienced more things. Like, if I would have finished my book, you know what I'm saying, prior to when I dropped it, I wouldn't have had chapter eight, I wouldn't have had chapter nine, and it all ties in together, you know what I'm saying? And if y'all had a book club, you'll understand what I'm talking about, but, uh, so it was like a two-year process. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, what's your name? Mecca. Mecca? Mecca. Mecca, Mecca, I like that. The Mecca, yeah. What's up? Uh, so when you was little, like before the whole Mother's Day passed away, mm -hmm. what was like your dream job, like as you grew up? Man, you know every kid back then wanted to go to the NBA. And that fell short. <laughs> that fell short real quick. As soon as I got on the court and shot, they were like, "No." Nah. <laughs> so that yeah, yes, ma'am. Um, I mean, like, I always, that's the funny thing, I always low-key liked writing, and even, you know, it's funny, I, had, I ain't thought about this, in, we brought something, I ain't thought about this in a minute, I actually wrote another book when I graduated from high school, um, I forget the name of it, but it's, it's a short story, and there's a lot of similarities from that book to the alarm clock, you know, I talk about, you know, when I lost my mother, actually, you know what, I came back to speak to the kids at the Psych Academy. Um, right when oh, I you mean when graduation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I came back and spoke to y'all. <coughs> so you talking about this was my last year? No, this was a while, but this is like four years ago. 
So I, I, writing always been a part of me. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, you know, I had to embrace it. You know what I mean? And the more I started writing, the more I loved it because writing allows you to express yourself. You know what I mean? Everything that you're going through, your pain, your struggles, it allows you to put that in some words. And it's a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? And I love it. So, And then so, like, with that being said, like, just to give y'all some, Encouragement, like when y'all reading y'all literature, like I don't know what y'all reading right now, but just think about that. Think about the writer. Think about what he was going through, he or she, what they were going through at the time. Think about what they're trying to get across. You know what I mean? Because what you find is, like a lot of these fiction stories, it has to do something with something that somebody actually went through, but they were scared to talk about it themselves. So they put it into like fictions and they put these illusions and things like that into it. So, you know what I mean? You just kind of gotta. Follow the reader, and it makes it a lot more interesting. What are y'all reading right now? What are we studying, y'all? I don't know what we're studying. Mm -hmm. What we're we we studying? Assessment. Mm -hmm. On what? You, you just stop it.